Hello. I'm making this video because I would like to document a project that I was working on, which is a, a smart home system for a camper van. And this camper van, it's also, it belongs to my brother. And it's also the tour bus for his band, Buskers Without Borders. And there is a, there's a link below to, to the SoundCloud page with the music. And uh, yeah, I had a few design requirements. Uh, my brother wanted it to look like a Chernobyl nuclear power plant control interface, something like that. And I had an Arduino starter kit to, to build out of that. Up. So um, yeah, in the starter kit came with a seven segment display. And uh, then we went to a flea market and we found a very cheap, an old uh, touch key telephone uh, from the 80s. So that was, um, that sort of, it was the right era. Uh, and uh, yeah, with that, we thought what we could do and yeah, came up with our functions to, uh, basically it has four functions. It can dim the lights and then set presets so you could have different moods and then quickly save and recall these presets. Uh, it has a few effects so you can dim the lights when you're going to bed, for example. And actually, you can automatically dim them when you go to bed, and then they will come up like the sunrise at the end of the night. And then it can measure some, the fourth function then is that it can measure some statistics about power consumption and things like that. So that's uh, actually a useful thing because you want to save battery. And uh, yeah, the interesting thing that was given the four, or given the, seg the four seven segment displays, and given the touch key, the touch tel the touch, touch key telephone keyboard, uh, it was interesting to come up with a user interface. Because usually, if you can say modern user interfaces, like might be comparable to a 3D printer, then you have like a back and forth, and you have an enter key usually. Uh, with this, it's, e it's easy to think about metaphors or user interface metaphors, how you can uh, enter menus and get out, go out of menus and things like that. Um, but what I did instead, since there's no enter key on this kind of keyboard, it has the numbers, 0 to 9, and then it has the, the star key and the hash key. So we made a star and the hash key work as a kind of back and forth. And uh, the, the number keys then to be the actual function. And I'm uh, pretty pleased with how it all turned out because it's actually really quick to navigate this. So for example, uh, there are in the menu, when you, when you walk through the menu with the star and hash key, you see L1 to L5, and then you, so you just go to L, L2, for example. That will then build one lighting circuit and you just press uh, the one to nine will be different levels, how you want the lights on the level. And then the if you press zero, it will turn off that light. And there are, you just go to PR and PS, and that's how you can save and recall presets. And then it has an effects menu as well. Uh, and uh, there are different things that effects can do. You can, for example, dim out the light, you can set the timer that the lights should go off after a certain time. Or when you go to sleep, you can set the lights to go out during half an hour or fade out during half an hour, and then uh, fade in after eight hours. If you want to sleep for eight hours, they will come back on again. And uh, yeah, that is also really quick actually to navigate because you just go to the effects menu and then you press, if I recall correctly, I think it's like number three is the fade. So you just press number three. And if you do that, it will start fading out. If you hold number three, you can also set the time, how long you want it to go out for. So if you, for example, are going to sleep, you can press and hold number three and then write that I'm going to sleep for eight hours. 
Uh, and then the next day, if you are going to sleep again for eight hours, then you just quickly need to press number three, and uh, that's yeah. Then he remembers the last time. Uh, yeah, and then there was also the stats menu that can measure. It doesn't actually me measure what hours, but it measures is that power hours. So uh, it it measures the equivalent of how. Uh, the number of hours that you have had one light on. So if you, for example, have one light on to full power for one hour, that's one power hour. Or if you have two lights at half level for one hour, uh, that will also be two. That will also be one hour. Yes, yes, exactly. I think you get it. Yeah, and that's how it worked. And. Uh, it was a really interesting project for me to, to do this because uh, I also realized it's uh, yeah again and again it's what I realized that it's really cool to actually create something and complete it and see someone use something uh, and it doesn't have to be so extremely complicated so th this thing is basically just a, a, a basic Arduino starter kit and that's really all it takes uh, yeah, better to have like one finished and used project than ten huge dreamy projects. So that is my my personal takeaway. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. And again, the link to the music by Baskers Without Borders is in the link below. Also, I share the source code uh, with a, a link to GitHub. That's also below. If it can be, it's not made to be really generic, so I don't think that maybe anyone can use it as it is. But maybe it can be useful to take a look at, and it can serve as inspiration. Thanks for watching.